Hey YouTube family, this is Freedom Voice. I want to do a video, it's, it's a little bit different video here on the subject of health, uh, targeted individuals and health. Uh, I think uh, it's important that we understand the role that health plays as it relates to the brain. Uh, you see, the brain is basically one of the most intricate uh, organs in the human body. It's sort of like a computer. You can see here on the screen, you've got four different lobes, the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the temporal lobe. And these lobes, in order for them to function at an optimal level, uh, they require a certain amount of nutrition. So I want to talk about that in this video. And also, I want to point out that if you're a targeted individual, the thing you want to stay away from is alcohol. I was in Walmart here uh, walking out and I noticed here this section here entitled spirits. Now targeted individuals are definitely going through a spiritual battle and it's very very ironic that there's a store where they actually call basically alcohol uh, the spirit center. If you're a targeted individual and you're indulging in this type of uh, drink and, and not only the drink, but the smoking, smoking weed, smoking marijuana, smoking uh, even cigarettes. It's going to make your targeting all the more intense. And I guarantee you that, guys. Um, it's just the way the brain works. See, again, we're talking about the mind. We're talking about the brain. The brain functions on a series of uh, electrical impulses. And those electrical impulses can be either short circuit or excited by uh, what we put in the body, uh, what you put in your mouth, what you put in your bloodstream. So I want to talk about health and nutrition. Uh, specifically in this video, I want to talk about nutrition and I'm going to go into my daily routine. Uh, in the morning when I wake up, one of the first things I do is I get a vitamin C with zinc. And I take the uh, vitamin C caps. Uh, these are regular caps. Uh, this is 1,000 milligram vitamin C, and they're in the regular tablet form. And I take two, uh, and I take two together with uh, vitamin D, vitamin D3. I usually take uh, three, and unfortunately, the vitamin D3 is in the gel cap or soft cap form. I don't like that form. Uh, but right now, this was all that I had. So I'm taking it until I can get the tablet form. Now, in addition to vitamin C and vitamin D3, and by the way, the vitamin C and vitamin D3 are required to work together. In addition to that, I use what's called fish oil. Uh, this is only going to help cognitive functions. It's going to help your memory. It's going to improve circulation. It's going to reduce the uh, onset of heart disease. Uh, and this is also in the soft caps. Now, in addition to that, I also take a, a B complex because I am a vegetarian. And I've been a vegetarian most of my life. And I'm going to go into a little bit of my dietary intake on a monthly or weekly basis. But I want you to understand the importance. If you're a vegetarian, you got to understand the importance of uh, the B complex or the B vitamins. So the B complex vitamin is good for energy production, the nervous system, the immune system, so on and so forth. And it's crucial to uh, cognitive function. One of the things that I like to have in the morning, I usually do it about seven o'clock, is a variety of citrus fruits. Uh, you can see here on the screen. Uh, the number of different citrus types of different citrus fruits that are available. Uh, you've got red grapefruit, yellow grapefruit, pomelo, lemon, blood orange, navel orange. Uh, you've got everything from tangerines to regular orange to lime. And I think on a weekly basis, friends, I probably get four to five uh, out of this entire list. In, on a weekly basis, four to five different types of citrus fruits. I just love citrus fruits. I've always loved citrus fruits. In fact, I am working on growing my own citrus fruit. I am able to get it freshly grown from an orchard down in Southern California. But 
I want to show you why citrus fruit is important for targeted individuals and particularly for the brain or cognitive function. If you look at a citrus fruit cut in half, uh, you can see here the various different types of citrus fruits. You've got uh, everything from grapefruit to blood oranges, blood red oranges to regular oranges, but you can see all the different colors here. You notice all the different colors? Those colors represent nutrition. It represents what's called phytochemicals. As I said, I'm growing uh, fruit trees on my property here. I just planted 12. This is an actual video of me planting uh, not only the pear tree, but planting fig trees, nectarine trees, so on and so forth. And I love fruit. I love fresh fruit. We've got a fig over here. Um, and this one again is producing figs. You can see figs already growing on it. You can see that we have there some strawberries, some kiwi, some uh, grapefruit, blueberries, and it looks like some buckwheat and some other kind of type of cracker. So that basically is what one of my uh, morning breakfasts look like. Uh, I shot that video, I think it was about two weeks ago. Uh, what I'm showing you guys is exactly what my daily routine is. And one of the things I love in my daily routine is a good fruit salad in the morning that looks something like this. I even do it in the summertime. I'll freeze this whole entire salad and make a smoothie out of it. And I usually do that almost every day. Now for lunch, this is what lunch looks like. All right guys, I'm here at uh, T-Bar restaurant. I usually come here probably once a week or so. But I just wanna show you what I'm actually having here. This is um, basically what's called a, 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 a uh, this is a veggie bowl and this is tofu, brown rice, um, salad and avocado together with uh, carrots and soybeans. It's basically a very balanced meal uh, and it's very, very delicious, very good. So I'm getting ready to enjoy this. All right, so that was basically me uh, enjoying one of my favorite lunches that I often have. I do work in construction, so a lot of times I'm not always able to prepare my lunch and I do know of about five or six different places to go in town for a good lunch and this is one place, this is one lunch. Another example of lunch that I have usually once or twice every other week is a Thai restaurant. Uh, these places where I go, they know I'm a vegetarian and so they kind of know how to prepare meals and I, I appreciate that. All right, so right now I'm getting ready to have a really, really nice meal. This is just a yellow curry. It does have tofu in it. Um, this is one of my favorites. So they're going to bring brown rice here in just a minute. As I said before, there are places in town where I know that I can go and get a good meal. And this is the example of one. This is yellow curry with mixed vegetables, tofu and brown rice. And I love the brown rice because it's high in fiber. In addition to this, I have the spring rolls. Uh, the spring rolls are loaded with nutrition and it's very, very good nutrition for the brain. This is again important that you understand as a targeted individual, we need to not only feed the body, but we have to feed the brain. I love the spring rolls. I usually get them most of the time. And as you can see here in the video, this is a picture of uh, one that I had. Um, they're loaded with mixed vegetables as well as uh, the tofu. In addition to that, there's another place that I go to where I get the pita bread, the pita sandwich rather, or the pita wrap rather. That's what this is, a pita wrap with uh, falafel. And uh, this is, again, another example of really good food that's healthy and it's good for the brain. Now in the evening time for dinner, I usually have a light dinner and it looks something like this. Uh, this is the uh, pho soup. This is sort of a Vietnamese dish. Uh, it's something that I love as well. Again, it's loaded with nutrition. You can see carrots, you can see onions, you can see 
the noodles there. Uh, you can see spinach, uh, broccoli. Uh, again, I know some of you may not like this type of eating, but this is really, really healthy and good for the brain. If you're a targeted individual, you need to understand the importance of nutrition and feeding the brain. In addition to that, I do love Spanish food. And oftentimes I'll go to a Spanish restaurant or uh, places that I know where I can get really good, wholesome Spanish food that's not um, sort of mixed with a whole lot of preservatives and uh, things of that nature. And this is kind of an example of one. So guys, I know that this may not seem like it's important to many of you, but I've found that diet and health is very, very, it's sort of like a hidden secret as it relates to dealing with uh, the targeting and, you know, everything else that goes on with TIs. And it's also important to understand the role and function that the brain plays in feeding the brain. Uh, especially as it relates to phytochemicals and antioxidants and free radicals and the production of free radicals in the brain, in the body rather. I notice a lot of TIs are dying of cancer, and I do believe that there is a connection between their dietary habits and the production of free radicals, which is sort of a prelude for cancer. Uh, it's it's a big thing now, if you've noticed that. I don't know if any of you have noticed it, but I've noticed it. And that is the reason why I'm doing this video. So I hope that this would be of help, of benefit to someone. Later on, I'm planning to do videos on, uh, you know, meal production or meal preparations to kind of give you ideas on how to prepare food like this. Uh, I do prepare food and I do do uh, sort of classes on this because I've been doing it for such a long time, for many, many years now. And so I understand the importance of nutrition and um, balanced nutrition and things of that nature. And as it relates to health, health of the body and health of the mind. So I will talk more about this at a later date. Again, I hope this is of uh, benefit to someone.